everyone. Happy Friday, Freedom Friday. Woo! We're here live with you guys right now. So if you guys are here with us, say hello. And also let us know where you guys are coming from. We've got lots of new members in the group, so it's super exciting. So we are here for Freedom Friday. We are gonna be popping on here live every Friday at 11 a.m. And what these Freedom Fridays are gonna be, they're gonna be off the cuff chats <laughs> with Jen and I. And they are just going to be any topic that is going to help you. Our intention with this is to help you to grow and to step into a new um, version of yourself in whatever that looks like for you. So exciting. And, you know, we were coming on here and we thought, what better way than to really just kind of talk about some of the things that we've been going through also. And, you know, we've been talking a lot about it being upgrade season. And so what does that mean? I mean, upgrade sounds really exciting, really empowering, really inspiring, really motivational. But with that, there also comes the ebb and the flow with the upgrade. Because any time that we're starting to run a new program in our hearts, in our minds, in our body, in our soul, there does come a time where we go through these little mini dusts. And Carolyn, you so beautifully talked about this yesterday in your post where we start letting go of what used to be and start looking towards what is. And with that, in this process, there can be some times where you notice that you feel really alone because you're going through a complete upheaval and changeover and upgrade internally that other people may not understand. And sometimes, I know for myself, it's really difficult to even explain it. It's really difficult to even put words to the emotions and the feelings that you're going through because a lot of times it just feels like numbness, like stagnance. Have you ever had those moments where you know all the things you need to do, but there's some type of disconnect between your entire being where you kind of just want to stare at the wall? And so this is an integration process and there's no right or wrong way to integrate. Yet one of the things that has come up for me several times is I start to feel really alone. And I start to notice that people in my life who may have been around a lot or may have been someone that I communicate with all the time, they're suddenly not really around. And I, I started to take that really personally for a while and felt really lonely until I started to realize that when we make a decision, because growth is a decision, you don't just stumble upon growth. You don't just stumble upon new opportunities. You choose. You choose for yourself, for your future self, for your family, for your environment, for your community. You make that choice. And when you make that choice, you are stepping into an unknown territory. You are choosing that to work through the pain and the hardships within your own soul is more important than forgetting that they are there. And what happens is people in your life or people in your environment or situations, they start to go away. And it's because you sometimes you've become a mirror. You've become a mirror to other people about a growth opportunity or a change that possibly right now they're not ready for in their own life. And subconsciously, that can be really terrifying for some people because they're seeing someone, something, some situation that's been really comforting and comfortable for them changing. And so I want you to think about that, that it's not about you. It's not that you are less than, that you are less loved, that you are less liked, that you are less admired. It's actually that you're becoming a catalyst and a mirror reflection of some of the things that maybe people aren't willing to start changing or looking at. And so the easiest thing to do in those situations is just to kind of push it away. And so I invite you that in those moments of feeling really lonely or scared, or, you know, you're noticing a lot of transition, take a deep breath, and realize that it's okay and that you are also making space in your own environment and in your own heart for new to come in and what you are now projecting out is going to mirror what comes into your reality and so in those moments of feeling really alone just celebrate yourself that you're taking a step that some people aren't willing to make and it's okay timing is everything and your journey does not have to look like or match the timing of someone else's rarely it will Yet you will bring people into your life that are going through that same journey. So celebrate being a mirror and stop taking everything so personally. Mm -hmm. It's incredible when you can start like seeing other people as that mirror. Cause we look at some people, I know for me, myself, like even like listening to Jen talk right now, I'm like, oh my gosh, she's so amazing. Like, am I going to be able to say anything that is like of value? Right. But we all go through this. We see other people, but it's all just a mirror back to us and really sinking into that and trusting what's within us 
and then linking arms with people. And that's like why this group, we really wanted to bring together this group so that you have this community that is going to love and support you regardless where you are on your journey. And there's never going to be any expectations or judgment placed from that outside. And when you can really step into putting yourself out there vulnerably and sharing the things that you're working through and the things that you're going through, the things that you're struggling with, and you're open to having people um, ask you questions to help you discover from within what that looks like for you to take that step forward. That's where the real magic happens. And a lot of the times it can show up as triggers. Like who here has like been in a situation where like you get so emotional and triggered by something that somebody go like is like saying to you or whatever, but it's like a lot of the time we'll, we'll like see that trigger. And then the immediate thing we want to do is react to it. Right. But the very best thing that I've found for myself that has worked is just to accept it and then start asking myself questions. What was the situation that started triggering me? What was it that I can do? Like, what is the lesson that I can learn from this? Right. And then you just take all this stuff and you start reflecting within because it kind of it, it's like a great thing, but it kind of sucks when you start realizing that everything in our reality is a mirror. And we can, we can want other people to solve our problems and all of these things, but really in the end, it all comes down to us and how much work are we willing to invest? How much time are we willing to invest into our own personal discovery? And as you continue to keep going on this process, it's a never ending process. So it's never going to end. So enjoy it. Like Jen said, like as you're going through it and celebrate, celebrate when you get triggered, because you know what, that is popping up so that you have an opportunity to grow which is so powerful. And as long as you keep doing that and you keep going through this cycle, you're going to look back and you're going to be like, holy heck, who is this person? Like I'm a completely different person today. And you're just going to keep growing and leveling up as you continue to go on. So powerful. And if you, if you think about that and you start taking radical responsibility for everything that's happening, I mean, we talked about us becoming a mirror outwards and maybe that pushes some people away. Maybe that draws some other people in and being open and surrendering to that process and then taking radical responsibility for the fact that like what Laura was saying, that other people in situations are going to do things that trigger us and knowing that that's on us. And that's something deep inside that's going, hey, I'm here. Are you ready to allow that to come to the surface right now? And so when you can take a radical responsibility for everything that's going out and everything that's going in and surrendering to the flow of this process and allowing each of these situations to be a lesson an insight, a learning, and then to be able to take all of that and start actually sharing it with people openly and vulnerably so that you can understand it and unravel it and maybe go a little bit deeper than you were able to go before, it becomes this, this childlike adventure. And every single day when we can see the lessons and beauties and all of the little things that connect the dots, I always say to Laura, you cannot connect the dots looking forward, but you can always connect them looking back. So instead of wishing away an experience or an emotion or a feeling or a day or a night, instead of wishing it away, lean into it. And I have those moments all the time. It's like it's seven o'clock and it's kind of heavy. It's like, oh, is it time to go to bed yet? <laughs> and then <laughs> what comes after that is always amazing. And it's finding that wonder and amazement in all the little things. So good. If you guys have any questions on this topic, feel free to put them in the comments below. And there are so many incredible human beings in this group that are going to be so open to sharing their experience with this too. Because the cool thing is, is like, we're all on different growth journeys. We've all struggled with different things. We've all overcame different things. And maybe it's you that can provide value to somebody else that you've gone through. Or maybe somebody else can provide some value to you. The more that we work together as this cumulative whole, the more we're all going to be able to really step into that 2.0 upgrade that we are all seeking because we're all go-getters in this group. We all want to grow and level up so that we really can keep changing our own lives, but then also have that energy radiate to the rest of the world. So good. <laughs> have a beautiful day. Thank you guys so much for popping on here with us. <laughs> and we will see you next Friday and also on the Rise Up Call. So exciting. Next Wednesday, 8 p.m. Yes. Okay, bye guys.